Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and I welcome you all to my Power BI Beginner Step by Step Tutorial Series. You are watching 19th and very last episode of this series and in this episode I am going to uncover the licensing of the Power BI. From the day 1 to day 18, we covered up our complete report end to end. We publish our report, we prepare dashboard on that, we take an overview of the Power BI service as well. Now a million dollar question that how the licensing world inside the world of Power BI. So now today you will get this answer into this particular session. Also before I move forward I wanted to mention you one more important thing. As we are reaching to the last episode of this series I wanted to hear your honest feedback in the comment section that what do you feel about the overall series and does this series is actually adding any value in your career or not just add your valuable feedback into the comment section. Also if you have built some sort of report using this particular training then do one thing that post that on your LinkedIn or Twitter or maybe just tag my account. So at least I can hear you that how many of you perform some exercises and finished this overall training. All right. So without further delay, let's get start and talk about licensing in detail over here. But as obvious, this is the last time if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me over there. Also, a couple of more announcements I just wanted to make up with this particular series is after this particular Power BI beginner uh, completion series, uh, we have some uh, paid training program as well for Power BI, which is like a more advanced level program where uh, it is almost like a 40 hours of guided curriculum where we are going to uncover entire Power BI from start to end and so many advanced topic as well. We are going to uncover with some industry example and standard. So if you are keen for those training, you can always check out the website for the latest training information or the contact information is always available on our website. So you can check it out over there. All right. Also, uh, moving forward in the future, we are going to uh, launch some of the short courses on our YouTube premium as well. So we will uh, announce about that uh, very soon over there. All right. So let's get start and talk about now the licensing in detail with me. Inside the world of Microsoft, any product licensing is sometimes difficult to understand. But let me just make this sim life simpler over here. Always when you are talking about the licensing, look out the official Microsoft documentation because when you are watching this recording, maybe it's depend that, okay, its prices are getting varied or maybe Microsoft has changed their licensing model. So always check the latest licensing from the official Microsoft site. Right now, in 2025, how the licensing is working and what are the different plans available? Let's try to explore it out. Inside the world of Power BI, we are only targeting the Power BI as a product now. We are not going to talk about anything on the fabric at this point because Microsoft Fabric is again a big product underneath that Power BI is one of the module of the fabric. All right. So first of all, let's talk about the different licensing for the Power BI. Inside the world of Power BI, the first license is available like Power BI free license. Second one is available like a Power BI Pro license and its pricing is $14 per user per month. Then we are having Power BI premium per user plan which is $24 per user per month. And last we are having Power BI embedded which is again a variable uh, uh, licensing. So what kind of capacity you are going with your embedded Power BI depending on that you need to pay upon that. Alright, and there is one more licensing available is called Power BI premium licenses or capacity based license, which is nowadays called as a fabric licensing. So we will talk about that in a while as well. But now let's first talk about what you are getting in the free license versus pro license versus premium per user license over here. On the same website, you can clearly see the comparison of the four licensing model with its feature set over here. Now, let's me make the life simpler over here. Let's say for an example, if you are simply going with the free account, what you can do over there? With free account, you can just build up the report. You can publish the report in your own workspace. Even you can't create separate workspace for yourself and you cannot share the published report with someone else. So 
if you are having the sharing me requirement for power bi in most of the cases in the real world we have that requirement that okay once you build the report obviously you need to share with some sort of team right so that is something which is not possible with the free account and that's the biggest drawback of the free account but again when the free account is boon for us like let's say for an example as a developer if you are just exploring the product it's good you can still develop the report with the free account you can still publish that in your own workspace right but only thing is that you cannot share it with the user okay so this is what you can do with the free account over here with pro account what extra capability you will get so you can obviously create the report you can publish the report and obviously you can share and collaborate as well which means that you can create your own workspace you can share with another person another person can access your power bi report but on the other hand another people can also require a pro license so whenever you are going with the power bi pro license if, if you develop one report if you publish the report you can share it with the people but on the other hand the other person also require a power bi pro license the costing for this licensing is 14 dollar per user per month and you need to come up with the annual commitment which means that you need to pay for yearly uh, for this particular power bi pro license also let me tell you one more important thing in your organization if you are having e5 license power bi pro is already included into that so let's say check with your organization if they have e5 license or not if they have e5 license you don't need to buy additional power bi pro license on that already that is included into your e5 licensing already okay so remember that thing over here now with the pro license you will get the model memory size limit as 1 gb you are getting 8 times in a day schedule refresh and maximum storage you will get is 10 gb per licenses and obviously security and all of those things are already there okay so these are the things you are getting with the pro license then we are having power bi premium per user licensing which is 24 dollar per user per month and again you need to commit here for the annual commitment and you need to pay for the entire year over here you can obviously do everything which you are able to do with the pro but with that it also provide you the advanced ai capability advanced data flow capability advanced data mat capability xml endpoint capability okay and again uh, you are getting 100 gigs of memory size limit and in a day you can refresh 48 times in a day so every 30 minutes probably you can make set up your schedule refresh and maximum storage over here is 100 terabytes is offering you over here okay so this is your power bi premium per user license then you are having the power bi embedded license so embedded license is again depending on what kind of capacity you are purchasing for the licensing and that's the reason on the website officially it is mentioned as a variable licensing mm -hmm. you need to always contact sales person to know the exact costing of your power bi embedded and over here obviously you can get everything that you are having in the premium plus you are getting like okay uh, consume the power bi content without a paid per user license uh, again power bi embedded is again useful when you are embedding your power bi report into your third party application and all and what kind of authentication you are using for your power bi embedded so many factors are depending on this particular licensing for those who don't know power bi embedded uh, generally uh, it this is the requirement most of the time come up into situation like sometimes organization has the uh, custom third party tool and they want their power bi report to be secretly embedded within their uh, own third party application at the time usually they are going with this power bi embedded licensing over there okay but again as i said pricing and everything is uh, varied in the embedded licensing part okay and the another last part come up into picture is fabric licensing capacity okay now again earlier this license called as a power bi premium license okay uh, in current licensing in many organization if you have purchased that it is called as a power bi premium but the thing is that this power bi premium is now revamped as microsoft fabric capacity now if i talk about the fabric licensing fabric is basically a capacity based licensing which is basically uh, purchased at you know your tenant level and fabric has the different skus like starting from f2 to f10 
2048 okay and over here it is uh, depending on what kind of capacity unit you are purchasing so if you are going with f2 sku which means that it's a uh, two capacity unit okay and what is the pricing of that it is 156.334 us dollar okay now what with this particular uh, fabric capacity how microsoft revamped uh, their licensing is whenever you are going with any kind of fabric capacity basically what happen here is if you are already having any kind of existing power bi licensing this is equal to the equivalent fabric skew at this point so let's say in power bi premium we are having different capacity like p1 capacity p2 capacity p3 capacity p4 and p5 and this many cores we are having 8 core 16 core uh, cpu 32 core 64 core and 180 128 core okay so p1 is equal to equivalent to f64 inside the world of microsoft fabric at this point so you know when this uh, overall transition is being done from power bi premium to fabric what happen here is in future or renewal time your p1 is considered as your fabric f64 capacity over there okay your p2 is equivalent to your f128 p3 is equivalent to your f256 okay and if you just wanted to check the pricing of all those capacity this is where you can see the pricing of that like f64 pricing is around 5002 us dollar which is again um, same like whenever you are going with the power bi premium uh licensing it is come up with a dedicated capacity and it is uh, equivalent to this 5000 us dollar per month over there all right and this f uh, fabric capacity is also coming up into different uh, option so you can go via pay as you go or maybe you can just go via this fixed model it's totally up to you but pay as you go you need to pay some more money over there for yourself okay and the terminology come up into picture that okay what is uh, uh, cu means capacity unit so capacity units are the units of measure that represent the pool of compute power needed and compute power is required to run the queries job or task when you are running your report or you are running any jobs okay so this is all about the different skus for the premium okay so at least for this power bi uh, developer level you should have this particular knowledge if i summarize this entire thing mainly free account pro account premium per user account embedded license and power bi premium license premium or fabric capacity license and uh, in power bi world specifically we are having p1 p2 p3 those capacity that is equivalent to as i said uh, starting from f64 inside the world of power bi at this point okay so p1 to p5 is equal to equivalent to f64 to f1024 over here all right so that's overall thing that i wanted to talk about the licensing in my last episode of this series i really want to hear from you guys what do you think about uh, this entire power bi series that i have built it for you does it value your time or no just provide your honest feedback in the comment section i really wanted to hear from you guys with that note i would like to end up this entire power bi series at this point hope you enjoyed this and hope this is valuing your time if so hit thumbs up subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram if you are looking for any premium training always check out our website for the latest information or if you want to check the on demand courses those information also available on our website with that note this is truvin signing off see you with some amazing new series next time till then have a great day goodbye take care